Fitness studio owners, this is how you should be selling in your fitness studio if you wanna get more members. And that is prescription selling. And today I am here with Matt Kafora, who owns Seven Orange Theory Fitnesses. But before we dive in, if you are a gym owner looking to get more members, more money, and more minutes back in your day, go ahead and click the link in the description below. You can get a free strategy call with one of our member success consultants who will take you through and see if you are a good fit for our program. Awesome, Matt. So what is prescription selling for those that don't know? Well, let's take a look at, at how it's often done. Yeah. Often it's kind of, you walk into McDonald's per se, right? And you kind of take a look up at the menu and you kind of pick and choose what you want for the day. Right. Right. Oftentimes that's how it's done in a lot of fitness studios. Oh. And they, they show a price sheet and some membership options and present it to the member in a way that's kind of like, they can choose, what would you like, right? Yeah. Well, this is not McDonald's, right? right? Uh, people are coming in for some knowledge and some guidance, and we need to position ourselves as a as a fitness professional. It starts from the second they walk in the door. Right. So that starts from, if your organization is set up with a front desk uh, who does your client intake, um, they need to position themselves as a fitness professional all the way through the sales process to when they touch that coach or instructor. Again, fitness professional, and then getting back to where the sale actually happens, fitness professional. So holding that place as a fitness professional versus an order taker at McDonald's, right, is, is truly what separates prescription selling kind of from that order taking type selling. So a prescription sale allows for that fitness professional to hold that space and then present a prescription based on that prospective member's needs to get them to the goals that they want to achieve within your space. Right, right. If we don't prescribe, then we leave them to their own devices and it allows them to kind of pick and choose, which may or may not be the best for their goals. Right, they don't know what's the best right. for them, exactly. Right. So touching on um, selling wants versus needs, is this something we're only touching on the needs? Or are we bringing in a little bit of the wants, maybe tying it back to that intake form? So the intake form's huge, right? That That's a game changer for you in your business. Mm -hmm. Your intake form allows you to really deep dive into why that person is here today. There's two motivators. One is pain and one is pleasure, right? 99% of the time, especially in fitness, it's a painful experience that has caused them to take action. Right. Right. So what needs to happen is we need to kind of deep dive into those wants and then we need to create those needs because people will buy more than what they want than they, what they actually need. Right. 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 So what we need to do is is take that deep dive into that discovery piece of things and find out what exactly they're wanting. Right. 99% of the time we hear like, I want to lose weight and I want to be healthy. Right. Like, what does that mean though? Right. Let's start to deep dive into that stuff and then find that dominant buying motive, that right. X factor, that hot button. Right? right. And that's where we can kind of push on. And, and that's what allows us to tie back the prescription because now we have this emotional tie to McKenna, I need to see in here four days a week, right? right? To get you to your goal that you told me of X, Y, and Z. Right. So that way we we tie to this emotional piece. So now we have the, the tie of the want and the tie of the need, and it's presented from a fitness professional in a prescription type setting. Right, right. right. So it's not just, hey, I need you in four times a week because you said you want to lose 15 pounds. It's, I want to see you in four times a week because you said you wanted to lose 15 pounds because you don't want your son to be bullied because your mom's overweight. Right. Things like that. You'd really right. tie it back into the both pieces, which I love. If we just keep it surface like that, you lose a lot of that emotional tie. It turns into a sale. Right. Right. People don't want to be sold. Right. They want to buy. Right. Right. And, and our job is to be a buying assistant along their, their journey here. Right. Right. Yeah. So when we can position ourselves as that buying assistant, as the fitness professional, allow them the opportunity to buy versus being sold. Yeah. That's how we kind of factor in those wants and those needs to get them to where they need to go. Yeah, exactly. And for you guys at home, Matt mentioned the client intake form. We actually have a free cheat sheet for you guys. Just go ahead and click the link in the description below, get a free uh, client intake form. And those are monumental <laughs> in the whole process. Uh, something we teach in our 360 plus program. So if you're looking to uh, get more members, more money, more minutes, go ahead and click the link in the description below. So where do studio owners maybe get tripped up on this? Yeah, one of the biggest mistakes that I see is there isn't a a clearly defined sales process. Sales kind of has this icky connotation to it if we don't truly understand what that means, right? A sales process, again, we are, we're positioning ourselves as a buying assistant mm -hmm. through someone's journey. 
Okay, we'll, we'll go back to that pain and pleasure piece, right? Something painful has happened. Something so painful that's caused Mrs. Jones to get up off the couch and to take action. Yeah. Right? Fitness for most people is kind of uncomfortable. Very. Right? They think it's a whole bunch of pretty people, Barbies and Cans, oh. people that have done this forever, look amazing, feel amazing, and they're going to walk in likely deconditioned, potentially overweight, out of shape, not feeling amazing about themselves, and they're going to walk into a, a gym full of Barbies and Kens, right? So there's already some trepidation with these members. So what can we do to create this welcoming sales process? And that's what it is, right? We're, we're assisting them through this journey, and that journey is the sale. The journey of fitness is our sale, right? right? But we need to create this warm, welcoming environment, and there has to be system behind that because... It needs to be the same for every client that walks in. Right. It needs to be practiced. It needs to be honed. It's a process. It's a skill set. So it's something that can be improved upon. But if we don't have that in place from go, then what happens is it feels very haphazard and there's not a, a structured, systemized process to allow this person to come in and to walk through the discovery process, to go through a fantastic workout and then come back and, and be prescription sold into what's going to get them exactly what they want while fulfilling the needs as well. Right, and I think a lot of times what we see is maybe Coach Joe does it perfectly, but Coach Karen is in, you know, there's no system. So if he does it her, his way, she does it her way, this person does it their way, and there's no system behind yeah. that, that method. And, um, you know, even coming from my experience, I'm, you know, involved in fitness. Even when I start a new gym, I'm still like nervous, like, oh God, sure. I need someone to be, you know, guiding me through the whole process because I have no idea. And you got to assume that the person that's in your studio has no idea what, what's going on and what yep. to do. So, um, awesome. Anything else you wanted to add about prescription selling and why studio owners should, you know, do it? Yeah. Tough to prescription sell if you just hear it one time. Yeah. Right. So the, there's a semblance, and again, it ties back to this entire process, right? But it makes the it makes the final sale so much easier if you start the prescription sell from go. Yeah. Right. And and some people are going to be like, Matt, how does that even make sense? How are you going to start a prescription sell from go when I haven't even had the opportunity or ability to sell this individual yet? But it's in a lot of the language that we speak. Right. Right. So. Um, you know, the, the language of four is something I love. So McKenna, if I tell you to come in four days a week, four days a week, four days a week, four days a week, how many days a week are you likely going to come in? Probably four. <laughs> you would be an amazing client if you came in four days a week. <laughs> three, three the days. reality is, yeah. despite me saying four, 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 we don't have ideal or perfect yeah. clients like that. So we're going to hear four, 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 four. McKenna's lying. She's got to come in three oh, days a week. Four yeah. right? for a lucky day. <laughs> a lucky week. Three days a week, right? And, and, which is great, yeah. right? But knowing that, knowing that I'm going to start by speaking the language of four. McKenna, do you have at least four days a week to commit to your fitness goal of dropping 30 pounds and getting back to X, Y, and Z, how you felt 10 years ago when you felt super confident and you felt great about right. yourself when you looked in the mirror? Right. Yeah. Great. I, so we start speaking the language of four, 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 four. And that starts from the very beginning of our process as we dive into that client intake. And then you hear from your next fitness professional. And that's your, your instructor or your coach, right? And they're talking about McKenna four days a week, four days a week, four days a week, four days a week, four days a week. And then when you go back to that front desk individual and they're like, well, Coach Bob, your fitness professional, just said, McKenna, for you to reach your goals, we need to see in here four days a week, right? For you to be taken all the way to your fitness goals, I need to see in here four days a week. And that's huge, right? Right. I have now prescription sold you based on your goals, right? No longer are you walking into McDonald's and choosing off the menu. Right. Based on your goals, I need to see in here four days a week. Right. Right. I'm still not going to get her four days a week. <laughs> but if I can get three, knowing that, right, it's good. And, and this is where it's, it's just small tweaks. And this is what we really talk about in the 360 program too, is, right. is those small tweaks and how you say things and how you do things and really outlining an entire process right. is monumental in the growth of your business or not. Right, and that's how I can touch on the process. It's just that the whole process is what, is what you know drives the needle for the business. So again, if you guys haven't, click the link in the description below, get on a free strategy call, learn more about the 360 plus program. It's awesome. And if you like this video and you want more free content, go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel, plus all of our other social media channels. We're always constantly giving you guys free information, free stuff, because we know how valuable it is for you and your business. So go ahead and give this a like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.